Salute to you all. The brave never fall. Self-love through freedom and connection. So feel free to connect to the brave never fall on these social media platforms. If you find anything of value in this following podcast, hit that like button. Subscribe and share and support the brave and bold tribe growing one purposeful soul at a time. How are you feeling? Take a moment to do a self check-in for yourself. How are you feeling mentally? How are you feeling emotionally? How are you feeling physically? How are you feeling spiritually? Are you feeling balanced? Are you still journeying on an intentional, purposeful path? How are you feeling? Balancing yourself is a healthy, daily practice that will reliably keep you in harmony with your entire mind, body, heart, and soul. Clear your mind. Take a moment of silence for yourself. Right now, in the moment. You are here now. How are you feeling? Life will happen with or without us. We must live the life we know that will facilitate the most purpose, love, and fulfillment. And as always, when you can find a place of purpose, a place of love, and a place of fulfillment, you are facilitating the best version of a life you could possibly ask for. When you can find those things, gratefulness in life comes easy. It's easy at that point to realize that to find purpose, love, and fulfillment, peace, and happiness, that is something that most people in the world struggle with. They find difficulty in finding one of those things, let alone all of them simultaneously. In the moment, when you can feel 
all those things at one time. It allows you to see life in a different context. That allows you to appreciate all the things that you've earned and all the things that have happened to you that you had no control over, that favored you to be in a place of peace. That has given you the opportunity to live a life that you want to live based on purpose. That has given you the opportunity and the perspective to be able to understand what great core values are, what great people are, where are they, how to find them, how to recognize them, how to appreciate and be grateful for them as well. Life is going to go on with or without us. So while we're here, why not make the best of it? Why not try to understand who you are completely? Why not try to balance yourself out as much as possible? Why not face your fears and accept your flaws? Why not create the life that you want based on a blueprint that can be altered at any time? All you have to do is say the word to yourself. Look yourself in the mirror and be brutally honest and become who you really are. There's nothing better than life. Life is a gift, a mystery, a paradise, a dream that is fused with our perception of reality. It is love, friendship, and family. Life is everything around us and everything within us. Our eyes see the world as we individually perceive it. Our eyes allows us to see the evil, the nightmares, the bad souls, the dark corners, and the empty shadows. Balance. Life is good because it's always facing the bad. That leads to gratefulness for our lives. Motivation, passion, purpose, joy, peace, happiness, all of it. We are more than we believe we are. There is no death, only life. We live each day knowing it could be our last. We only know what is in the moment, which is life. Smearing black ink alone is not what our souls desire. Inherently, we all were meant to do something in life that is special, unique, and purposeful. Like a Norwegian dream, we can create reality for ourselves that's rooted in positive core values, morals, and principles. We can create the best versions of ourselves, build the life we feel we are most aligned with, and enjoy this world. To do that, often we will have to rediscover what our life really is, what it can be based off what it has been. From sea to sky, we are a part of this world and the people, and we can learn so much about ourselves from both. We can look to the stars and envision life beyond it, knowing we belong in this universe, to do what we were born to do. When the dust begins to fall, all we have is the knowledge of yesterday and the hope of tomorrow. We are called to do the greatest things for ourselves first, so we are the best for others. That's what it means to be a real hero in life. And sometimes it requires risks and leaps of faith to become our true selves. Life is here and now, in the moment. You are life. Episode 12. This is a time in your life, right now in the moment. This is a time, the time where you can look at today as not just another day, but as the day. It may feel like just another morning. It may feel just like another monotonous, mundane, comfortable, content, do it by the numbers, play it by ear. That's one way. But there's another way. We can look at life as something that not necessarily has to be perceived as it can end at any moment, but we can look at it as if 
We don't want it to end at any moment. That's two different ways of looking at that. We know that at any moment we could be taken away from this planet. Our loved ones can be. The things we possess can be taken away. Which is why being grateful is such a powerful, powerful mindset, powerful emotion. It's powerful for your body and for your soul to understand that nothing is guaranteed. We may feel we deserve certain things in life. We know the things that we have earned. But the goal is to ultimately accept it all. The good, the bad, and the ugly. The past, the present, and the future. The dark corners and the empty shadows. They're all a part of it. You can't have courage without fear. Everything in life is defined by its opposite. That's what balance is all about. You can't sleep if you're not tired. Some people may say, well, I can't fall asleep. Yeah, but your body knows the difference. You're, you're sleeping for a reason. You're not sleeping just to sleep. There's something that your body's desiring for you to want to close your eyes and sleep and take a nap. Even when you should be doing something else or could be doing something else. Or would be doing something else if you had something to do. It's all how we perceive it. It's all about the choices we make. It's all about what are we doing now based on what has been before and what is about to come. We can't change what happened. No more than we can change what hasn't arrived yet. And we have a lot of people in this world who do try to change things that haven't even materialized yet. They're literally making decisions about the future, and the future has not been set. It is not ready for you to make any decisions about. If you're not in control of the moment, how could you possibly be in control of something that hasn't materialized yet and is based on infinite factors because of all the things that are going on around us in life? We are one of... Infinite, infinite souls in this world. And I say that because we still feel the residual effects of people's lives that have been gone for thousands of years, hundreds of years, or five days. We are not here just because we're here. If we have a soul, then the people who were gone years before this moment, no longer with us, what's the difference? We can't feel or see anyone's soul in real time. We just see the meat sack that's on top of the soul. The soul is within our bodies and our consciousness. It's in our brains and our hearts. It's flowing through our veins. It's present in our decision making. We have to understand that everything that we do is not permanent, yet it is at the same time. Physically, we are not permanent, but our souls are. What we do now is going to carry on after we're gone. Even on the smallest minor levels, there are people who are not going to have children, don't want to have children. They're still making an impact on this world because they're not even attempting to bring in more life to this world. And what would this world be like if these people had decided, yeah, let's have a couple of children. This world is not going to be the same because those two children are not born. It's how you perceive it. The world changes based off decision making collectively and individually. That's what life is so. That is why life is so interesting, why it is a mystery, because every choice we make makes a big impact. The unborn children And you may say, well, they weren't meant to be born. That's correct. But at the same time, the decision has to be made for two people to join together to do that. Or, you know, whether it's good or bad, not all unions are out of positivity. We know that people do get, you know, have children out of bad circumstances. So how do you explain that? So it's all tied into, it really doesn't matter. What matters is what is. What is now? The decision-making behind it 
counts for something, but it shouldn't be the only ultimate factor of why, why we look at a situation and say, that's why it happened. My life is like this because this happened. It may seem that way, but our perception in real time is going to be altered as time goes on. So what feels like a bad decision now, when you look back on it, it's going to look completely different, rather positively or negatively, or somewhere in between. The goal is to get to a place in your life where you're making the best decisions for yourself based on where you've been and kind of understanding of where you want to go. When you look ahead and you can see for yourself, I would like to do this, this, and this in this time frame. If it doesn't happen, I'm okay with that. And if it does, I'm okay with that too. But I would like to give myself some purpose. These are things I want to do. And if I can just head in that direction, I'm going to reap the benefits of everything that comes along with that positive direction versus standing in stasis and staying in a place of potentially negativity or being super neutral where you're in that gray area where you're not really doing anything. The good thing about it is even if you drift off into the negative area, there's always a way if you're conscious enough and you're willing to accept and be aware and have the clarity and the foresight to know that based on your past, maybe you have made good decisions and things still turned out bad. So it's discouraging you or you've made very good decisions in your good spot, but you want more or you made bad decisions and you're sinking. The good thing about it is if you're aware enough, it can be changed in a heartbeat. It can be changed in a heartbeat. Not so much the situation, but the mindset that will slowly start to chip away and recreate that situation in a positive light. That is something about life that is very powerful that we have to remind ourselves of. That your current state can be changed. But it has to be an acceptance there. There has to be an acceptance that that change is not going to come easily. Especially the longer you've been inside of a situation, you've been in a relationship, You, there are experiences you've had that are messing with your your mind. It's causing you some disorders. It's causing you to have all types of issues with anxiety and depression. And it's very hard to get out of that. I can speak for that myself. But I can also, I can also say that I always knew that I would get out of it. And it took the darkest moments, those darkest, emptiest shadows that I had to go into to find out in the darkness, I am the light in my own darkness. Some people search for the light. They're looking for where's the torch? Where's the flashlight? Where's this? Where's that? I need to illuminate this. I don't know where I'm going. You are the flashlight. You are the torch. You're the power source. You have to turn yourself up and illuminate what's around you. Your light is in your body. It's your soul. Your eyes are the flashlight. <laughs> you will see clearly the light will come if you want it to come. But searching around in the darkness for a torch and a light. You have to understand that you are the torch and the light in the darkness. That is you. And the more you understand that, the more you realize it's all about you. Life is about understanding that everything that's going on around us is going to happen with or without our decision making. And the least amount of choices that we make are going to be the biggest factors when it comes into ultimately what is your purpose? What is your journey really going to look like if you're choosing not to choose? You're choosing not to make choices. You're waiting for life to happen to you, not for you. You're allowing your limited beliefs to define your core values and your principles and your morals. You're not accepting of the fact that there's more out there. Maybe you're afraid of it. There was a point in my life where I was afraid of life. I was afraid to be an adult. I was afraid I was going to make bad decisions would cause me not to make any decisions. 
I was waiting for life to do something for me. And it takes a long time, a long, long time to figure out that life is not going to do anything for you. You have to do things in your life. It's about your life. You, this is your sandbox. And everybody has their own sandbox. And some of these boxes connect after a while. And they turn into beaches. But for the, for the most part, you're building your own sandcastle over there. Do sandboxes and sandcastles last forever? No, the sand will eventually get blown away. But sand, <laughs> sand is infinite. You'll never run out of it. There'll always be more. And you rebuild something else. Maybe someone will come and help you. The point is, life truly is what you make of it. How you see it. There's all types of things that are distract us, that are keep us from being able to see what is truly out there. We talked about this in a previous podcast about light pollution. That in big cities, when you look to the sky, they don't, you cannot see the stars. The people in the city cannot see the stars at night because of the light. It's too, it's too much light in the cities. Drive to the outskirts, you drive to the deserts, drive to open country land. And then you look up with clarity and you can see everything. And it changes your perception of what is really out there. And your life's the same. Whatever light pollution you have that is keeping you in the darkness, again, you're your own light. You have to turn that on. You have to disperse the cloud, the fog, the haziness, the storms, whatever is blocking your vision. We have to figure out what it is. What is blocking the ultimate vision for yourself? Why can't you see? Why are you lost? These are all questions I ask myself countless times. Before I had my awakening. And the awakening did not happen. Did not happen, excuse me. Until I asked myself those questions and looked myself in the mirror. Literally. I, I mean, looking yourself in the mirror can be one of those things where you can just say, well, it's just a metaphor. It's just an analogy. It's not. You have to literally look yourself in the mirror and have these conversations. Look into your own eyes. Is the light there? You have to be able to do that. Once that happens, life starts to unravel in a different way. Again, you're removing the pollution. Now you can look and see everything about yourself. You're not polluting your vision anymore with things in your life that doesn't need to be there. Simplifying your life is one of the easiest ways to get to a place of clarity. It's like the other thing I say all the time in podcasts when... There are people in your life who will come up to your nice, clean driveway, your nice, clean garage that you just tidied up and cleaned. And then they, they come up with a truck of all their stuff and then just load all this junk inside of your garage, into your driveway. You come out and you're like, oh, my goodness, where is all this stuff? Where did it come from? Why is all this junk in my in, in my garage? I just got rid of all my junk. I'm trying to start over. I'm trying to get some clarity. I'm trying to get things to look clear. And this is not even my shit. This is, this is a bunch of other people's shit. And they're dumping in here and they're leaving. Trash. Items that you don't want, don't need. Broken stuff. And you have to look at it. And not only that, you have to get rid of it. They're not even helping you get rid of the stuff that they brought to your life. What are you going to do? Sit there and cry about it? complain no get rid of it no you didn't create it no you didn't ask for anyone to dump it in there but it's in there you saw what your life was like you saw how simple life had gotten the clarity you have gotten before it was there get rid of it and know that there are people who are going to try to do it again this time put a lock on that door put a sign in that yard Send out a, a preemptive message. Hey, this is my boundaries. I would appreciate it if you wouldn't cross them. I'm trying to do this in here. That's what life is all about. It's about taking your life and saying, this is my life. I'm going to defend it. 
I'm going to protect it. I'm going to secure it. And I'm only going to allow people in this garage that it has the same vision that I have, a positive outlook, someone I'm aligned with, people I'm aligned with, people I'm invested in because they're invested in me. And if that's not the case, not welcome until I see otherwise. And I have to do the same for myself. I can't walk out of my clean garage and then go take my stuff that I had cleaned out of my garage and go throw it in someone else's. Mine's clean now. You have my stuff. No, you're accountable for your own actions. You have to do to others as you want others to do to you. Again, that's what life is all about. Choices and consequences and you understanding that life is going to be more for you when you want to be more for yourself. Life will shrink around you if you shrink inside. The light around you would darken if you darken inside. You have to turn the light back up. Even the darkest nights seem illuminated when you're at peace and you're happy. Which is why I love both day and night. People ask me all the time, are you a night person or a day person? And I say, I'm an all day person, all night person. I don't care what time I wake up. I go outside and it's beauty. It's always illuminated to me. We don't live in darkness at night. The moon's up there providing our moonlight. We will be talking about, in Color Wave Blue, about that light and the protection of it. The protection of your light, the protection of who you are, your boundaries, how to defend yourself against not only the outside, but the inside. Defending yourself from yourself, finding out your flaws. What can other people do to you that you don't even know about that's going to get under your skin? We have to recognize in life that not everything in life is going to be great. Perceptively. Again, it's balance. You have to try out new things in your life to give purpose and meaning to the things that already exist. Because things fade. Ideals fade. Creations fade. Everything fades, which is why we talk about rediscovering life. You're going to have to make adjustments at time. Sometimes you've painted a picture and you can't add another dot of paint. You have to now get a new canvas and continue the painting over there. But when you connect that painting to the other painting, the one. You have a mural. Just because you run out of room in certain areas of your life doesn't mean you can't add other things on and connect them. There's always another canvas. You can continue it on. If you're writing in a journal, you don't stop because you ran out of pages. You get another journal and you continue the story. There's a reason why there's chapters in books. You don't write a book in one giant chapter. I guess you could. But it's much easier to follow along when you can break things down and make it a little more accessible. Where it's full of clarity. If we find in our hearts a place where we can accept that for the long term, because that's another thing that's hard about life, is that even though it's incredibly short, relatively speaking, it also feels incredibly long. So we don't know what's going to happen. There's going to be some times in the future, depending on how old you are, and it doesn't matter if you're near the end of your life or you're just starting out. It's always going to seem like there's a lot more time. Unless someone comes to you and says you have limited time, which the people in this world who this is happening to every day where a doctor is coming to them and saying you only have this much time left. Again, balance. We wake up every day not knowing there are people out there who do know. And you imagine what that feels like. It brings a whole new level of gratefulness when you start understanding someone can come to you at any point and say you have this much time left. What would you do then? 
Why not live like that every day? You don't know. Again, this is not just another day. This is the day. It's the day for you to get better. To learn more. To listen better. To love harder. To love yourself stronger. To look around you and appreciate and be grateful for what you have. We're waiting for people, places, and things to define us. That's how we all start out. You don't know what you don't know. Through experiences, through life, from your darkest, darkest days to your brightest ones. No matter what happens, you are still going to wake up you. You're never going to wake up someone else. You're never going to spontaneously wake up in another situation that is better for you. You're never going to close your eyes and say, tomorrow I want it all and wake up and it's there. And even if it was, you wouldn't know how to keep it because you didn't do anything to deserve it or earn it. You have to earn what you have in life. If you want something to come into your life, sometimes you have to create it. Now, we're not gods. We can't create people. We can't build things all on our own all the time. We're going to need some help along the way. And for that to be the case, we need to know what type of help we're looking for. What type of people, places, and things are going to help us the most? And how can we simplify and get rid of the things that aren't bringing us any value? That is a pure way of living. It's a simple way of living, but it opens up so many more things for you to do more with life. Because you no longer have to worry about bad people. You have good people in your life because you've simplified it. You've gotten rid of all the bad people and you can recognize it. Unfortunately, we have to go through those bouts of experiencing bad people. People who don't necessarily have the best interest for you or for themselves in life. They're going to exist. They're making their choices. That is their issues. We can't save them. Can't save everyone. We can help some people who want to be helped. But it's not our obligation to save and help everyone. Again, that's not making your life simpler. That's making your life more complicated. That's not our jobs. We were never meant to ultimately make sure other people are happy and make sure other people are doing the right things in life. That is ultimately up to them. We can be leaders. We can be people who can guide people along the way. But ultimately, eventually, you got to let go of their hand and let them go walk their own path. The path might still be in your eyesight, but you still have to let them walk. You'll always be a team. You'll always be together with these people, but they're their own people with their own stories. And they have to live life. You should celebrate every single day, no matter what happens. You should celebrate all the things that you have every single day. Celebrate those special people who have not given up on you. Celebrate the people who have been down on their luck and are still fighting. They haven't given up. They'll never give up. They're doing more with less because they know they have to. Because it's calling to them to do so. They see something in themselves and they know that whatever it is in life that is holding them back now will not be their definition of life forever. It's something that's only happened to them to give them perspective, to under, to, to allow them to understand that life is going to be challenging. And we have to do the things we have to do in life to make sure that we make the best out of every situation, regardless of the outcome. If the outcome is negative, we have to find the positives in that situation, that experience to learn from it. Life is about learning, growing, adapting and evolving. We may not always have the answers, but we certainly have the questions. And as long as we're asking questions, that's positive. There's no such thing as a stupid question. We should be asking ourselves questions about everything in life. About ourselves, about the people around us, the places and the things that are in our lives. We should be constantly reevaluating and making sure that our values and our core principles are on point. That we are the good individuals we claim to be. That we are helping in a way that is truly 
positive and impactful, that we are protecting our boundaries. We are getting rid of and jettisoning, jettisoning toxic people and limiting beliefs. We're addressing and being truthful about our fears and our flaws and facing them, not running away from them. We are accepting that we can live in solitude and be perfectly fine independently, but that life is much better when you have someone with you that is strong and positive just like you are because you become a great team and you become people who are together going to do even greater things, strength in numbers. Why not? That's what life is all about. It's about unity. It's about understanding and having patience with people who are aligned with you. Having empathy, not being selfish and thinking only about yourself, but that you're doing all this stuff because it is a form of helping. You are helping so much more people out there when you're creating happiness for yourself. You're not helping anyone if you're walking around miserable all the time, blaming other people, making excuses. You help people inadvertently without even thinking about it subconsciously by helping yourself. By understanding what your life truly means, by defining your purpose, by making sure that if you're going to have core values, they're not just something you're saying because it sounds good, that you actually believe in and you live by it. That if you claim you want discipline, get it. If you have goals, work towards them, work to exceed them, not just to get there. Make the goal so big that you can't even conceivably get there. But you're going to get so much further along than if you just keep lowering that bar for yourself. Raise the bar so high that you have to honestly turn into a superhuman to grab it. Expect the best things and nothing but the best things for yourself. Realistically or not. Who cares? Live your life like you're living in a science fiction film. Don't live your life like you're living in a soap opera drama. Be drama free. Life is about smiling and having fun and laughing, leveling up every day, learning every day, living in the moment, accepting that every heartbeat is a gift. Every breath is a gift. That this world doesn't work without you or you wouldn't be here. The story of the world cannot be told without you being born. The story of the world, the history of this world would never be told, could never have gone on without you being alive. Without you being here, this universe doesn't exist. Even on the smallest level, that's how important you are. We let people get in our ear and tell us otherwise. Damn it, cut your ears off. Become deaf if you have to. You don't need them. Listen to your heart. Listen through your eyes. Listen through your soul. Feel instead of listening so much to what other people have to say. Doesn't matter. Blah, 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 blah. Let them talk. You know the internal chatter is much louder. And it's saying positive things. Saying powerful things. Saying things that you need to hear about yourself because they're truths, not opinions. They're not beliefs. They're realities. You are you. You are here now. You are life. Enjoy it. Appreciate it. Be grateful for it. It's not promised to you. So be grateful. Your mission for today and for all days moving forward is to be grateful. Remind yourself every single day what you're grateful for. Remind yourself every single day that the people in your life that you want to be there are precious people. They're good people for you if you're aligned with them and they're bringing you happiness and joy. Let them have their ups and downs, but appreciate them and be grateful for them. The things that you have, they can be gone at any moment. They can fade away from your life in an instant. Be grateful for them. Take care of them. Protect them. The places that bring you happiness and joy, 
be grateful. Not promised to you. Could be gone in an instant. They could fade away. You be grateful for your life. Could be gone in an instant. Could fade away. So that's the mission. To find a way to be grateful every single day. To understand that today is not just another day. That is, it is the day. This is the day to be even more grateful than you were the day before. Being grateful is not something to be taken lightly. It is something that is going to get you in a place in life where you can do it consistently through discipline, where you can remind yourself every single day when things get bad. I'm grateful. I appreciate what I have. It's making me stronger. It's giving me protection, comfort, and it's reminding me of all the good people in my life, all the good places in my life and all the good things in my life and that I am very happy and full of purpose and full of joy to have these things and I don't want them to go away so I'm going to do whatever it takes to keep them but it, that starts with me and it starts with you it starts with all of us it's your life so be grateful for it protect it and love yourself This is your day. You are here now. These are your moments. You own them. You are brave, bold, powerful. You do believe in yourself. You know you have more in the tank. You know the glass is half full. There's still more room for improvement. There is no end. Believe, believe, believe in yourself. Trust yourself. Trust that you can do whatever it takes to accomplish whatever you want from life. You don't procrastinate. You don't embellish. You don't lie. You are true to yourself. Knowledge is in your mind. Peace is in your heart. Balance is in your body purpose is in your soul you are greatness the sky is not the limit you have purpose fulfilling intentful purpose you are here for a reason you are unique you are self-love self-discipline self-respect self-control you have self-awareness you are joy, peace, happiness. You are freedom, and yet you are connected to every person, place, and thing in the universe. And if no one has told you this today, I love you. You deserve to hear that. Salute to you all. The brave never fall. Learn, laugh, and level up.